Hello, welcome back to Chihe Diaries. So she came in and said she wanted a very light with hair, easy to ma easy to manage, minimum braiding hair, easy to pack with one hand, just as you saw there. So I used just this pack of expression braiding hair. It's rich braid. I cut it into three and then stretched the ends like this. And now we are about to start on the very first row of her at the nape of her neck i made my first row and shared it into four equal parts i used shine and jam to clean up my lines and then i made the line in the middle to share the four sections into two and then shared each section into two it makes it easier for me to be sure my sections are together and then to add the hair i braided two circles and added one two three and then the fourth braiding hair piece and then turn my hand over and braided it so i had four sections at the first row the next row moving up i had five sections and then the third row i had six sections so this is four sections down five sections next so i should have made this line going from ear to ear through the back of her head before even starting like pre-sectioning the hair you see this little hair i pinched just on top of her ears that stretched little piece of hair that should have been going up and i stretch it to the back that was because i did not pre-section my hair so pre-section your hair it's going to make everything easier but sometimes when you're forming a sieve you know you know you know then you just make errors so um what else do I need to tell you? I braid her hair twice and then add four, four pieces of braiding hair. But it's not like that um, compulsory, right? So sometimes I can adjust that depending on the section of the hair I'm braiding. So if I'm like braiding her edges where I have less hair than usual on the head, I can, instead of braiding two circles before i start adding the braiding hair i would like go one complete circle and then start adding the braiding hair instead of two just to and then i can also choose to add less um less hair i don't know how to explain it but somehow at a point i just go with my guts like there is no stamped okay this is two circles now i braided twice some people will say they braided four times. So a circle to me is when you move your left hand and then you move your right hand. That's one circle. But some people will count that, that as braiding twice, tw twice. One circle, move your left hand and your right hand a circle. Left and right hand a circle. That's what I meant by braided two circles and then start adding the braiding hair. So when I get to that demarcation where her natural hair stops and then it's just the braiding hair, I would use a little shine and jam to make sure that the the ends of her hair are slicked into the braiding hair so that it makes everything nice. So this next one, I am going to braid it all the way for you to see how we do it. Because we mostly braid standing over here. And somebody is not as young as I used to be. So I get tired like when I have to stand and braid the whole hair. So if I do not want to do that, I would braid that if my assistant is not available. Of course, if I'm to braid the whole hair myself and it's tiring, something you can do is braid halfway. Not halfway, just braid to an extent while standing. So you section off the hair, braid all the bases down and braid it to an extent don't finish it off the letter you can sit down especially if the braid is long your hand can reach like the length your the length of the braid can let you allow you sit down and finish off the rest of the braid that's just like what we do to make it easier because sometimes this thing is exhausting just imagine recreating the same thing over and 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 over again alone standing sometimes it's like it's exhausting but it's still fun and it's nice to just create something so passionately your customer is your client is just sitting down thinking she's getting her hair braided but to you you're just creating like a masterpiece that you're proud of trying to make it better 
fixing it the way you want and just taking your time feeling good like i do love braiding hair i do like it a lot so this is two circles and then i can start adding my hair <gasps> i thought i was about to braid three circles eh how open my mark on the token <laughs> so that's braiding hair one and this hair here is thicker so you know anyway my point is that for me there is no set rule that applies to everybody's hair when it comes to making not less braid but at the end of the day we achieved what we wanted to achieve 10 over 10 plus 10 <laughs> The hair came out giving what it was supposed to give. It was Irish. You could pack it with one hand. The, the base was beautiful. Her scalp was glowing. Everything was just nice. So I'm going to let you watch from here. So. <laughs> Silence aimé à se promettre l'éternité Si l'on vivait ivre d'amour Comme dans les contes et les histoires Si l'on laissait couler les jours En profitant de chaque pas Malgré nos douleurs et nos craintes On se serrant fort dans les bras Si l'on s'aimait Encore une fois Si l'on s'aimait Comme autrefois Avant, pourquoi nous on ne pourrait pas se regarder droit dans les yeux sans douter un instant et croire que le temps est notre ami et pas celui qui nous sépare que l'on pourrait vivre sans vie dans l'aventure de notre histoire si l'on s'aimait encore une fois si l'on s'aimait comme autrefois
de foi, sinon s'aimer à se promettre l'éternité Sinon vivre et vivre d'amour Comme dans les contes et les histoires Sinon laisser couler les jours En profitant de chaque pas Malgré nos douleurs et nos craintes En se serrant fort dans les bras Si l'on s'aimait Encore une fois Si l'on s'aimait Comme autrefois Avant, pourquoi nous on ne pourrait pas se regarder droit dans les yeux sans douter un instant et croire que le temps est notre ami et pas celui qui nous sépare que l'on pourrait vivre sans vie dans l'aventure de notre histoire 